guys welcome back to choose your own path uh, <coughs> it is uh, tuesday today so um, we are doing something different we're gonna make a hummingbird now i started off a little bit earlier because i just didn't know what the hell i was doing probably like every other freaking thing i do right <laughs> yeah i would say that but it's good so uh basswood very soft very clumsy um hummingbirds very tiny so a lot of meat to take off cuts all extreme this is the big flame burr we're gonna use this and then we'll get into the baby flame burr after with it all right so basically let me just turn that down basically what we're doing is just, we're just trying to try, you know get the head out so uh the be uh the nose beak whatever you want to call it it will be uh an insert uh kind of get out of there kind of difficult not difficult it shouldn't be difficult i could have made it with it i'm sure of it but i think we'll use a dowel and we'll have it sharp and all that and whatever feathers will be inserted outwards and then the, bo the bottom feathers will come out also we'll kind of add that on it so, somehow i've been watching a couple videos um one of my sisters has been bugging my ass to make her a bird so i'm gonna charge her triple for it <laughs> no um we'll see but we'll see how it goes so right now just getting the shape so the head it'll be a lot smaller we need to kind of uh bring in the head and somewhat at an angle too because something like that because it's going to be flying like that maybe a flower here kind of thing sticking its beak in it kind of thing we'll try to we'll incorporate that in nice little feathers but it is a little thick right now we're looking at about oh i'd say about an inch and a half i'd like to get it down to maybe like maybe just just close to an inch you know just enough to say that it'll be a smaller bird one of the things i do and one of the things my family notices my wife especially my second oldest my oldest too is a little bugger for that is they always say my birds are not proportioned properly so uh doing a little research on it looking at what's going down like what i need to do humbirds very small very tiny uh you know the wings come out they flap like at a billion miles an hour can't do that obviously but we'll have them nice and thin so let me get this set up and uh get you into the, a little bit of the carving bringing it down showing you what i'm gonna do all so right i'll set up put on the fan kind of do a little bit of a speed thing cut here there whatever let, let you guys see it all right got a good shape going on and it's getting thinner it is probably a lot thinner we're almost at oh we're about an inch that's pretty much what we want to get to so what we need to do is switch out our bit and get to the smaller one because this will take too much out <clears throat> all right guys so we thinned out our bird give him a little bit of a rounded head now to make the wings so the wings uh basically will be inserted like so so basically i cut it a bit too thick the band saw that my buddy gave me eh, it works but i gotta figure out how to be able to cut this a little thinner it's kind of off and it kind of scares me a woodworker saying scares me so anyway we'll get this guy down into here we might have to take off a bit of the top because it's a bit big you can see so i might just go back to the band saw and i don't know take off maybe like that much i'll get better so that fits a lot better so next step is to basically thin these guys down to like almost nothing so we need to basically give them a little bit of an angle so i'm just gonna draw and i'll show you what i mean It needs to be about that thick. This piece here, the thinner piece. It's got to be a very thin wing. Um, I 
could go try it on the bandsaw to see if I can get it that thin. If not, I think I'm just going to go with the cuts all tools and just rip it right down. So I'll set it up and we'll get you right, looking guys, at So that. here we go. We're going to try to cut this down just by using our other cuts all bait. camera I told you it's not always the best but that's the general look of it now I just got to carve in the feathers sand it down really good and put some airbrush on it and that's a little spigot or the little stake I'm using it's a little bit of a big hole but we can fill it up all right all right guys, so working on the wings so I did one already what I did was I took this is just a little crap Chinese bit or whatever cane tire bit and what I did was I just I drew my lines out with it right so from the tips of where the where the point is like where that hole is there I just basically went down and then now what I'm doing is I'm just basically taking um, the rounder part and I'm just sort of digging downwards so it makes it look like the wings are coming out I'll show you this one take some fine sandpaper and we'll kind of sand that out uh, now for the rest of the bird we're gonna do the same thing we're just gonna change up our bit to more of a rounder bit like so We've got lots of dust coming out of this one so all we want to do is sand this down get all the little marks that we didn't want on there out. And I'm okay with a, with having these marks on here still. Uh, biggest thing is is because um, we're still going to put feathering in, and it's just going to replace it basically. It's going to hide the marks. You're never going to see them. You'll just see feathering. So just a quick little top layer of sand. So for the feathering, uh, feathering, like, they're kind of round, I find. I'm not making anything fancy. It's not a $40,000 bird. It's just something we're carving. So what I do is I take the bit and I just kind of horseshoe it. So it pulls it out. Going all the way around with, like, little horseshoes. It's a little bit more difficult than the tail. And same with the back. I want to just basically bring, bring the line down, sort of bring it inwards. And we'll finish off our feathering. And we're 
with the head, all I did with the head was I bought it, I bought it the round points up to a certain point, and then I'm just gonna give it a little feathering, like sort of scratch marks in there. I worked on the eye just a little bit just to get it out. Okay, so that looks pretty good right there. Now for the feathers, I'm gonna do sort of the same thing, but all I'm gonna do with these guys is I'm just gonna drag, I'm just gonna drag some lines down it like this. That's all I'm gonna do for this guy. They don't have to be perfectly straight because you know what, it's a bird. You don't, you really don't know what a bird, you know, their, their feathers are kind of everywhere. Just like us, we have different parts in our arms and whatever. I know the master at uh, Carver's and all that, it probably cursed me for that, but you know what? The hell with it. This is this is for beginners. This is me showing you what I can do and what you can do yourself. So if you got a way to improve it, go ahead. And all I want to do is make it look good like that, so you can see the angles. Um, this is the top of the feather, so this is the same thing. You'll have you'll have a design of feathers coming in too. And all I'm going to do is make make this like a circle, half circle, sorry. That's all I'm doing. Not making anything different. A little bit deep. I'm not going crazy. It's a carving. Carvings are supposed to be natural and beautiful, right? We'll do the same thing with this. We're just going to drag our lines. Okay. So, and then if you want, you can take down the little bits in here too. It's sanded. Uh, with these ones, we're just going to make them a little bit more deeper. So the next step is just take a little bit of sandpaper and just throw everything around. See if you missed anything, any spots. If you did, oh well. Look at it, do it again. Okay, this one too. I want it to look kind of rough because I don't believe that a bird should be done uh, professionally. Like, you know, I just, I, I, I not, I'm saying this the wrong way, but they should be done right. But a bird is also natural, it's not made to be, you know, perfectly sanded, perfectly this and that. It has to have some bumps, it has to have some grooves. It has, it has to have some sort of awkwardness. I think so. That's my opinion. My opinion counts just like anybody else's. So, guys, there we have our bird. Somewhat finished. Then we're going to stick your nose there. So, all we're going to do is we're going to add some glue into this. And I'll get back to you when all that's right. right. So, I kind of started up a design for him to sit in so just I'm not sure what I think of it but it's gonna be something like that so what we're gonna, do, we're gonna do is like I put a bunch of little holes on a circle just something funky what we're gonna do now I think we're just gonna dig the flower out make it thinner so I'll bring you guys down I'll show you what I'm gonna do here so we're using this is this is a saber tooth burr um, I have a cut saw one but I have to send it back because it's all, it got bent somehow. Maybe too much force or something. Whatever. Or maybe this is the, no, this, this, sorry, this is the cut solver. So we're going to just put the saber tooth away. <gasps> Excuse me. This is my other one I had. They sent me another one, that's right. And we're just going to dig out the flower. So bear with me, guys.
tell you, this is a piece of cottonwood. I just kind of carved it out of it. Okay? All right. give it a more of a twist using the cuts all ras we're just gonna sort of straighten it out or just round it out and guys don't ask me what kind of plant this is because it's a I don't really know just hopefully when it's painted it'll look good maybe Clear it out. So, just with a little bit of not very much effort because the cottonwood is very soft, very easy to work with, very beautiful wood. And I may have some of this available sometime soon if you're interested. Just uh, drop me a line at uh, richard.vorio uh, at gmail.com. I'll let you know what I have available. I just picked up a little bit. Well, enough. Um, and I'll give you uh, what, what I'm charging for it because it goes through a uh, another company that I'm sort of affiliated, well, I am affiliated with. So he gets his cut and the rest of it just gets used for the channel. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to this kind of a crazy bit. I have no idea what it is, but I make eyes with this guy, usually. So we're going to put it back on. Okay. And I'm just going to do what I did before, where I put like round holes it's just a design guys it's no big deal what it is it's my design
that's all I'm going to do because I don't want to take the look away from the bird. More of where it's going. We are going to build a base to it though. And we're going to try to do something out of styrofoam with it this time. So, that's me. So, there you go. Um, it's going to sit like that. Kind of whatever this is supposed to be. So, whatever this is supposed to be, it's that. Kind of a little bit of a round head to it, whatever. Uh, it's going to sit like that. I put a little hole, poke it through. So, I'm going to just stain this. Maybe paint. Eh, we'll see. Maybe airbrush a little bit of it. I'm not sure. But I definitely got to airbrush this guy. So, there'll be a part two to this two to this video. Uh, this was the first time carving this kind of bird. Hope you guys liked it. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know if I really showed you much. Do the best I can, right? So stay tuned for part two, where we are going to airbrush it uh, and then build a little base for it. And then we're going to give it away to my sister. Hope she doesn't watch this video, but we'll see. Anyway, okay guys, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Like, subscribe, share, a uh, couple more, and uh, I'm at the 500 mark, pretty happy. We could do better, I could do better, everybody could do better. We could just get lots more people on. Um, tip jar at the bottom, um, affiliate links, uh, cuts all link at the bottom if you want to see the tools or use the tools or see the tools on their site, what I have and what they have. Use promo code RV Woodcraft in capital letters, and I'm losing you guys again. So, um, Save yourself some money on shipping, I guess. Five, ten percent. I'm not even sure. Just check it out. You gotta use the do the tools, the right tools. All right, guys. If I could do it, you can do it. Choose your own path. Have a great day.